when I analyze the employee opinion survey, there is a trust issue, no integrity, there was no teamwork, there was poor communication. I realized there is a commonality into all these issues and I wanted to address that. As a working mom, it's never easy. In fact, I ever tender my resignation letter two times and I'm lucky I work in SFAB. When I just joined SFAB, I was assigned to be attached in West Malaysia. Being a mother with two kids is not an easy task for me away from the family. We have a lot of meetings in this company, right? Previously, we will discuss, we will talk, but at the end, we say, okay, what is actually the problem? <laughs> what, what is the question we actually need to address? We put a lot of emphasis on quality and we also strive a lot on the continuous improvement. So every day we need to keep on thinking how to improve ourselves. I was looking around for a lot of training providers, but I was also looking for things that is really easy to create that kind of platform where the employees can speak the common language, having the same culture. Not only wanted to address the personal leadership, I also want to address the team leadership. I also want to address the corporate leadership. The seven habits, it gives you a principle, it makes the value come alive. When the habits become my day-to-day -day life and it's like imprinted in my neural system, it's automatic. Having all the seven habits in my daily life, it's really helped me with all the challenges. The most important thing is to shift my paradigm. We have to think of win-win situations that will benefit the plant itself and benefits expert as well. So that's what we see has led to the changes in their personal life, professional life, as well as the company at a larger extent. When they are fulfilled and satisfied at the personal level, that will automatically translate at the workplace. The company that invests in them would want to see them really prosper at the workplace. So it's twofold. People are more conscious about their personal victory, which is having N in mind and putting first thing first, being proactive in your workplace or even in your personal life. I remember the four disciplines of execution, which is taught about a scoreboard. So that, I think, is very effective. It helps to bridge the gap between planning and execution. Typically, people want to help, they want to contribute, but just they don't know what should they do. So with a scoreboard, they actually no, oh, this is what I need to do, this shift, this hour. The industry that we're in, certainly at the engineering level, we need people to be, for instance, proactive, which is the first habit. And I see that, and I've seen that over the last three to five years, that not only managers, but engineers are being a lot more proactive. They're taking their responsibility very seriously. This site has continuously been the biggest revenue contributor to the whole group. And year after year, with the same capacity that we have, we keep producing more. And that's really speak about the personal effectiveness of all the employees that work in this site. So I see every day people taking initiative, taking responsibility, and also knowing that if they take that responsibility, there's not going to be a negative impact if they get it wrong. If everyone goes through the same training, I think then we have a common language because this is aligned with our company vision and value. Expat has continuously invested in their human capital, driving a culture around their core values. They have seen transformation that has impacted bottom line as well as continued growth. I believe Expat is reaching the next milestone in the history of its simulation operations when they're experiencing balance in their everyday life, both at the personal and professional level, when they are able to balance between mission and margin, they are then, in Franklin Terry's words, moving from success to significance. We're putting in efforts to make this work environment enjoyable as well as productive. We have been having these seven habit trainings for every level of employees for the last three years, since 2015. It's really basic and it's timeless. And that's the beauty about the Franklin Corby training programs.